another video and this time it's gonna be a little special because we're gonna have it on mega capital g's channel if you guys haven't seen my channel before please check it out in the link below and uh, if you're seeing it on the wise guys channel please please subscribe and check out both channels for my team uh shout out to them for being there for me and helping me and cheering me on the entire way um i ended up with 711 with Salaman Greek. I my only draw was Infernoid Layer, which was my good friend from Locals, Jacob and Willows, and I ended up losing because the Sky Striker player got sixth place. Um, the rest of my matches were kind of random. A few Salaman Greek mirrors, um, Draco, or no, sorry, not Draco, um, Crusadia, and uh, it trained the guy that was actually undefeated until round seven or eight. But uh, yeah, and I beat all the guys. But uh, no Thunder Dragons, which is very odd, especially when I main deck cards to beat them. But uh, we'll go ahead and get into the big profile. It's pretty straightforward. So we got three Lady Debug. This is your Stratos. It searches for any level three or lower sideburst whenever it's summoned. And uh, it's a really powerful card. It's a one card combo. If you guys haven't seen the combos, the combos are like everywhere on YouTube. We got three of your Gazelle. This is your Foolish Burial. If you guys don't know, uh, when it's summoned and whenever a card, a summoning great card, sent to your graveyard, it has to be a monster. Uh, you can spe you can special this guy from your hand and do the, do the whole combo pretty much. Uh, three spinny. This is the guy you need to do your combos. Most of them make rank three plays for, for Stalio. Uh, this guy also gives a pump, which is key. Uh, it's the only reason I actually won my round nine in time because the pump for 500 damage. I only hit my opponent's turn. Uh, very key. Um, yeah. Shouts out that guy. That was a crazy match uh, for the mirror match. Um, we got Foxy, this is like your Potter Duality when it's normal summoned, but no restrictions other than grabbing a Salaman Greed off the top of the top three. Um, it also can come back and pop back around in the front of the graveyard, but note it has to be face up. It's actually key. Uh, one Jet Jaguar, just recycle it for your graveyard. Usually you recycle your extra deck cards, and so you can make uh, make more plays because you need more of the same extra deck cards because of your shield spell. Uh, and this guy can, get, can do piercing, which happened a couple times. This is your recycle for your trap cards when it's sent to the graveyard, period. And this guy was really good. Uh, I was actually learning how to deck play this deck through the event. I did not know all the combos until probably round five or six. I actually was learning it while I was playing it because I picked it up 11.30 the night before. So I was very fortunate to have a couple of pretty decent rounds uh, where they were pretty free because of a very blow powerful blood card and the end of my lineup. Um, Two Psycho Wilder, this is a good extender. Uh, sometimes this actually this is the only reason why I won. But I do recommend playing this card. I'm not sure if I should bump it up to three or not, or just play Terra Top. But, this, but these cards are much more consistent than Terra Top and Tacaton Borg, so I'd rather play these. Uh, you probably could play a Psychic Tracker as well, so you don't clog these. But uh, the Synchro play never came up, because I know Thunder, I didn't play against Thunder Dragons. You got three Ash. Uh, this guy is recyclable. And he negates basically anything special on this front deck or add a steer from your deck to your hand. But uh, yeah, this guy was very, very powerful. Uh, I think this is the only deck that, besides Sky Striker that actually can afford to play this because it's just that good with the deck. It's also a three star monster, which is good to note. I did have to make Sally with a couple times with the Wilder. Um, three Droll. This card actually sucked my entire weekend. I drew it a few times, and the times I did it actually did nothing because in the mirror match, it actually doesn't really do anything. I'd rather it be another card like uh, Thanos himself right here. But um, yeah, this was mainly for danger decks and I played zero, but I was prepared. This card got sided out almost every game. Cause it does nothing against Ultra Gus either. And I don't want this card to conflict with my Thanos inside, so I usually set this out for Thanos. Three in premise, oh man, wait, I don't have three. Again, four, three. This card's way too expensive. Maybe when it gets repaired, I'll have a third one. But uh, this card uh, is basically the same thing, Fake Baylor, and uh, yeah. Uh, rounds out my hand traps for negating monster effects. I would not want more than three negations for effects, I don't think, anyways. Don't think it's necessary. That's it for the hand traps, and we'll go into the spells. Three of your add any one Salamon Great Monster. Quick play. Uh, so if your opponent has a way to interact with you with Ash, I mean, I'll start Droll, you can chain this, and then boom. But usually, Droll doesn't actually affect you, so it's fine. But uh, this card is really powerful, and also it has a protection effect if you uh, link using the same monster. Which came up like a couple times. One will of Salmon Great. This card is amazing. I'm, it's hard, I, like I, every time I drew it, I actually think, feel like I actually the only game I only lost one game when I actually drew this card. But it, almost every time I drew this card, it felt like it was really too powerful. Uh, like it's a Monster Reborn from the graveyard, and uh, you can also do like a mini Soul Charge. But usually, I think the Monster Reborn effects actually better because it can bring back Link monsters. The uh, Soul Charge cannot. 
The only time I think the Soul Charger would be better whenever you want to recycle your Falco and your Trap Cards and stuff like that, but in a really big grind game. Whenever it feels well, which is searchable, you do not need more than one. Uh, this helps you do your link like stacking and it helps you do your combos. Without this card, you can't do the one card combo with debug. Uh, when Fusion of Fire, some people are not playing this, but this card was very good against Sky Striker in the sense that you would just alter the monster's attack with either by Spinny or with my the Link 3 by targeting Ash, and this is like a, a billion damage. Uh, to round out spells, you got three Call by the Grave, anti hand traps, which I thought was necessary if I played a Sky Striker or the Mirror Match, which I did, and one Sacrifice. But uh, Foolish Burial is very good to start in your place. Dumping Spinny and summoning Gazelle from your hand is pretty powerful. Uh, to the traps, you got two Roar and one Rage. Um, this one's like the Regeki Break and or Fire Lake. Uh, based off if you have a blank monster using the same material, and this guy can only be used, and this card is a counter trap for negating anything, as long as you have a link monster for a solid margarita. But a lot of times people can play around this card because it cannot negate summons, which kind of sucks. So this card I actually think was better for the most part throughout the weekend when I actually did see this card, or I actually did the combo where I got this card. Uh, to round up my traps, three artifact sanctum and the one scythe, which is not a trap, but it can be set in the back row. And I wanted to save this for the end. This was a blowout every time I drew it against most decks. Um, this card is too good. It's like a barrier for everything. And if they can't go into the extra deck and or make a push, sound are just going to OTK you. And a lot of monsters that start combos now with the Crusadias and everything have like really low attack. And yeah. And, and I can give make their attack zero and do the double damage play after, which was just stun them, then OTK them. And or put a ton of damage on to where any damage really kills them. Except for deck, main deck, 42 cards. Two Bailings, this card adds your field spell, and it's a protection and graveyard like Return of the Dragon Lords. Uh, very good. If you're going to board wipe you with Dark Hole or anything, you will take your, all of your about all of your Salamagre cards, which is really good. But mainly, I'm really glad I played two, but sometimes I th think I might have needed a third, but I, it never really came up. I felt like I really was going to get in that point, but I never did. Two of your MX Saber Invoker, Crash Talio, uh, special anyone from your deck, but the key is that it comes in defense mode, and then whenever this card is activated its effect, for this turn you can't use any of your monster effects except for Fire Fist, which does hurt a little bit, but not as much, because you can still make cards that have like uh, effects that don't really activate that are just good on your opponent's turn. Um, you got three sun levels, the MVP, helps you recycle, do everything you need to do, and this plus scythe on your opponent's turn, pointing at his own, you get to add back an ash or anything. So if you're gonna ash your opponent and then scythe them, you add back the ash, it's pretty insane. Two Helio, uh, didn't think I needed more than two ever, but this card is really good and uh, bounce, uh, the double bounce backer play is really powerful. It's the only reason why I think I might play a third in the end. But uh, yeah, he also can change attacks, like I said. You can target the Ash and Grieve, target their monster, and make it zero. And then you summon your fusion and do double damage over any monster that, uh, he, that he battles, as long as their attacks are different than normal. And usually his attacks 4700 because of fusing this with Jackal. And that's just game. The rest of the, XYZ, uh, the links, I got one Phoenix, one Unicorn, and one Borload. I didn't actually make either of these Nightmare cards the entire time because I didn't play against any decks that I really didn't feel like I needed it. And um, I put, made Borload one time against a mirror match. For game. Um, one number 41, Baguska. This card was. Um, I made it like one time when I actually had the play to do so. But uh, yeah, I feel like if I knew the combo better, I would have been able to do it more times. And the last card in the bring an egg, which didn't ever come up because no Thunder Dragons. Uh, three Thanos from my side deck. Uh, Shadow Bruce, he let me borrow the third one. So this guy was actually very, very good against the mirror match in the sense that uh, it gives you a 2400 body that you have to remove. And um, also, this, the best against Sky Striker. In the sense that it negates Widow Linkers. That's the main purpose why I love this card on my side deck. Um, it's just a blowout. I think it's better than playing um, the evenly match because it actually fixes your hand and actually does something. But this guy's amazing. I wish I need to pick up a third one. I think I'm getting one this Wednesday. Three Panker Tops. The card was really good against Ultra Guys, and I sat it in a lot actually going second because I don't know what the floodgates people were setting in. Like, there can be only one, and I didn't want that to come up. And, um, yeah. 
is out to that. Two Ghost Rider, this card was really good the weekend. Um, I went I did Saturday and I get certain decks. I, it was really powerful against the Inferno deck I played against. But um, it, it has a lot of niche uses against the Rogue deck, so I really wanted to have it just in case because Droll is bad in a lot of matchups. Two Ghost Bell for Thunder Dragons, and I did not see one. Two Lancia for the beginning of the index. Uh, anything like that, any of the danger decks that have like immense draw power, I wanted to have more hand traps against that. But didn't play against any of them. And the last three sides, those three uh, Twin Twister. This was brought in a lot, games two and three, because I felt like people were going to have cards for me to deal with. But if I didn't feel like they needed them, I didn't, I didn't feel like they thought side in traps, I wouldn't side it in. But uh, this was mainly for Altergeist and True Draco and cards index like that. Uh, this card was the MVP against the Altergeist deck I played against. And shout out to that guy who's a brand new player. He, uh, and he and I had a good match until game three, where he bricked. Um, thank you for watching my video, and uh, if you guys haven't subscribed as it, or checked out the Wise Guys, please do. And check, check out Ink Gaming on the link will be in the description of my uh, of this video. And see you guys next time.